Hi guys, here's a short video. I've got an inflatable hot tub um, and I've got it set up in our basement over the winter months and so we get to enjoy it all winter and you know we're not out in the snow. In the summertime I like to move this outside and uh, but the winter months I definitely didn't want this outside. So you have to take the pump unit off to you know be able to move the hot tub you drain the water and then you just pick you know deflate it which is simple over there just press in and it deflates um, but I had a problem with this is it wouldn't stay inflated with air and what happened is it gets down it lowers down an inch or so now you're putting pressure on the fittings the fittings that were in there are these if you're familiar they call them a, a B and a C connector and what they are is it allows you to just see that's the broken one here's the one that's not broken but they go in between here and you just unspin it and unspin the other one and, un and take off your air on the one over there and you can just back this unit out and so they're made to come apart but this I believe is so wimpy of a connection that any type of up and down tilting and it'll crack that fitting and I had a pile of little rubble this little gray stuff and what happens is it just comes right out of there see it's supposed to have that with a hose clamp and mounts this way against your pump assembly and it just crumbles and falls off and I said well I'll order couple online and this is a best way by Coleman or Coleman by best way and it's uh, you see what happens it's a split flange and it's a real stupid design if they made them out of metal maybe they would have stayed together but they were 40 bucks is the, is the ones I could locate and they were in Europe and I had to wait three weeks and it was gonna be just under fifty dollars for two fittings so I found a shortcut. I think it's going to work fine. Get rid of them foolish things. And I got two hose clamps. One for the top and bottom. Two hose clamps are already on the other fittings. And I just bought these two little one inch, three and a half inch long barbs. I think they're about three and a quarter inches long. And they have a, the blue ones have a thread on them so they go in easier. Instead of a standard barb, they're actually slight threading on them. This costs less than 10 bucks, somewhere between five and ten dollars. And I just heat them up with a hair dryer, warmed them up, and pulled out the old ones, warmed these up, slid the new ones together, and then tightened up my my air inlet, the large nut down here, and that's it. And I hope that for future maintenance. I just take off two hose clamps and I just slide this unit out and I don't have to worry about these foolish things breaking again and so if anybody out there has this same problem this may be a cure for you and it's not too bad looking and they definitely got to be stronger than what was in there so like I said I hope this helps you and we'll see you on the next one